Hey guys, what's going on? So I decided to do a series of tutorials based on some of the exercises that I put into my online training programs. So today is going to be the glute ham raise because I get so many questions on how to do them. So there's a couple different variations you can do in the gym. So here's three different variations you can do if you don't have a regular glute ham machine at your own gym. Or you could do these at home. So enjoy. Okay, to start off, you're gonna come onto the machine glute ham raise, bringing both feet in between the rollers. Some glute ham machines have a small pad to put your knees on. This one happens to have a curve, so it doesn't need one. Starting from an upright position, you're gonna keep your core nice and tight and lower your body down to a horizontal position, squeezing the glutes and coming up with the hamstrings, keeping everything nice and tight. Make sure you're not leading up with your hips first so don't thrust your hip, hips back don't push your butt back i know that might be an initial reaction but try not to do that i know practice makes perfect so keep practicing this it's a, a difficult exercise now if you're a little more advanced you can always add a weight to this exercise as well okay so for beginners here if you do not have a glute ham machine at your gym or you're just uncomfortable using it, you can start off on the stability ball. It's a very similar exercise. So you're gonna start lying on the floor, keeping your hands planted on the ground, squeezing your shoulder blades back into the floor, and slowly roll the stability ball in. So your feet are end up becoming flat on the stability ball. Again, you're lifting your hips all the way up to the ceiling as high as you can, squeezing those glutes, and again, pulling in with the hamstrings. So you just want to stay nice and tight, get as many reps as you can. With this, you can um, get in a few extra reps on this one. So our other version of the glute ham raise, if you don't have a regular glute ham machine in your gym, is something that looks a little like this. If you have any machine, or uh, this is a bench, a lot of Smith machines have a little wedge underneath like this here, um, where you can stick your feet under. If you don't have a, um, like this, if you don't, if you don't have a partner or someone to help you out because you need weight on the bench, as you can see, I have a 70 pound dumbbell on there just to hold me down so I don't slide around or flip the bench over. Um, but a spin machine would do just perfect if it has a little um, wedge underneath. So from here, put a mat down so you don't hurt your knees. From here, you're gonna place one foot under nice and carefully so we don't hurt our ankles. Very similar to the regular glute ham raise on the machine. You're going to start in an upright position. From here, you're going to stay nice and tight with your core. Get ready to put your hands out to hit the floor. You're going to come down. From up here, you're going to push off with your hands and come right back up. As you can see, the bench didn't move because the weight is holding it down. Again, you're going to come down. It's a little scary. Of a blue camera. If you don't have 